I will train you on do while loop and a while loop as used in Java giving syntaxes and relevant examples. Loops are used to, to execute block of code as used as long as the specified condition is reached. They help in saving time, reducing errors. So they can we can write a comment here. They can they help in reducing errors. So they are also used in saving on time used in executing a certain code all right so you are seeing that the of in reducing re reducing errors and saving time all right now since they make a certain code a certain code to be more readable in right now we'll see how you can write while loop. We'll see how you can write while loop in Java. All right. Now let's start with while loop. You can insert it into a comment. All right. While loop. All right. Let's have that. And uh, yeah, you see that while loop iterates through a block of code as long as the specified condition remains true. Once it becomes false, then the loop stops or terminates. All right. So it iterates through a loop as long as the condition remains true. All right. We can have an a syntax to illustrate the same. Whereby we laugh now. This is why. This is just an illustration. This is an illustration whereby. You laugh now. This is while. Then we want to insert it as a comment. So you laugh. This is a condition now. This is the con. This is a condition. After that, you laugh the curly braces. Then after curly braces, in between here you laugh now system. Or code to be. You can have codes. To be executed. To be executed. So this is be right. Now after that, let's insert this. So this is just a comment. All right. Now after this one, here we we'll have now increment or decrement. You can either increase or decrease in increment or decrement right so in this part you'll we'll use in increment or decrement right let's write our first program in while loop let's write our first program in while loop whereby we laugh now we've said that we laugh while or before we write while we can define here by love divine x which will give it a value of zero right then you love the condition now here while then you love the condition x is less than 10 all right then after that you love the calibrates calibrates here then you love now system so this is right then you laugh now in between here you remove the, the double quotes and you insert x there then after that you have said that you increase or decrease so you say that the, this one and this part li like a while or uh, this loop will run as long as the condition here remains true so it will run and up to where that the loop will be less than 10 so if it's as long as a loop or x is less than 10 then it will it will stop right now let's have this is x you increase this is in increment so in increment so it will be adding one it will be adding only one all right 
Now, let's save our work. Let's save our work. Then you click here to run. Now you see at this point, you see at this point, it prints zero, zero up to, up to nine, right? Up to nine, right? So it means that nine is less than 10, all right? So 10 will not be printed out. So let's say for instance, if we inserted this one equals to this one, or that x is equal or is less than or equal to 10, then 10 will be printed out, all right? So at this point, we'll say that the loop will iterate or will run as long as the condition remains true. So when it becomes false, then it stops. So when x is becomes more or equal to 10 something of that sort then the loop stops all right now we'll have something else here to discuss which is <clears throat> so here in increment is just used to show the value on which x will be adding with so if you do not use this in increment then it means that the loop will run and will never end it will just run and it will never head right now let's have another example here or we go to something else before we give the example we can first discuss this but whereby we're going to discuss dual loop dual loop differs from while loop it differs from while loop as it executes the loop block of code once before checking whether the condition illustrated is true then it will iterate the loop as long as the condition remains true so it first checks whether it is true before executing it so it means that the loop is always executed once so it means that it will always be executed once even if it's false since the code block is executed first before testing it, testing is done on it, on the condition, all right? Similar to, to while loop, you should use an increment or decrement to show the value by which the, the variable will change with. Otherwise, the loop will never stop or will not uh, come to the end so we can have an um, um what you call syntax syntax for illustrating do while loop whereby we'll have something of this sort then here we'll have now do then this is you insert that one your calibrates see right now after that, in between here now, you'll have now the code block to be executed. Block of code to be executed, all right? Now, after that, you'll have, after the calibrate here now, you say that you love the while, then you'll now need to check, you need to check condition you need to put this is conditional this is condition all right and you love semicolon there all right then as we show here you love now in increment in increment or decrement decrement all right now check out this syntax check out this syntax whereby you love do while loop so this is called do because it has do and it has while loop so you see that the the program will always be executed once even if it is false before because <coughs> the or the the condition so before the you say that it will be executed once even if it is false since a code block is executed first 
So first you execute the code, the code block before testing the condition. Before testing the condition, you see the condition is outside the is outside the curly brace. All right. So the code block is first executed before doing the testing of the condition. All right. So we can have an example of this whereby. We can give an example here, which is this is do. We we'll have now this is after that. We we'll have now here, but we we'll have all right. This is x right before. So this one here we can have a hint, which is x. Let's give it a value of zero. We can have the same example as we had. So, and after that, you can have this is in increment by x will increase by one, right? Then, after that, this is right now. After that, we laugh now here, but we laugh while, while, then we laugh condition now set to less than eight. Let's just put eight. So this is. Then you see. Now you laugh the hint. This is your variable name. Then you laugh now do. Then you laugh the code first is executed. All right before testing the condition the condition is also the calibrate all right now let's see the outcome so you click on save then you click on run now your values are printed out whereby you have zero up to seven because you're printing out less than eight all right so this and eight. You can change your value, you can change your increment here. Whereby you can have two this plus plus two, not something of that sort. You can have you can change your variable here to be something else. Why you can change the starting point here to one. You can change so from better understanding, you can practice on your own to see the differences between while loop and the do while loop so they are so almost the same thing but they have a so simple difference whereby that you say that for do while loop then the testing is done after you have executed your code right so do while loop so that's the end of our tutorial today Next, we'll discuss on for loop in Java. It's very important. It's one of the very is one of the major loop that is used in Java programs. So please remember to subscribe, like, and share, and remember to tune in for for loop in our next tutorial. Thank you.